Amy's just given me a list of um, foods and things that she gives her ecchi. And this is very, very useful because we can use this not only for Amy's benefit, but for the viewer's benefit in going through teaching. So what I'm going to go through is um, some of the things that this little eclectus parrot called ecchi gets as part of his food. He's very wasteful, he doesn't eat uh, everything, but he's been offered celery, yes. Lychee, yes. Orange, yes. Ginger, um, I'd say yes. Peanuts in shell, yes, provided the peanuts are high quality. Yeah, yeah. Um, must be. The mould that goes comes through on the occasional peanut is highly, highly poisonous. So peanuts need a qualification, and for that reason, I prefer them to be out of shell, but where you can see, to see if there's any black ones. Okay. Right, the black ones are highly, highly poisonous. Thanks, mate. I've been waiting for that. That's a good looking normal pup. That's, that's a, a good ecchi pup, okay? That's the way the pup should look. The white is white, the, the cylindrical part is formed, there's no diarrhea and um, there's no undigested food in it. So that's the appearance of a normal pup. Thank you. Alrighty, yes I know. I know, I know, I know. You, you play with that for a little while. Okay. Um, Okie dokie. So, um, the next, so we're commenting on peanuts. The same applies to walnuts. The mould that occurs on the occasional walnut is highly, highly dangerous to the liver. So, I prefer, um, well, depends, you know, the, the, the quality of the walnuts is of critical importance. Um, grapes, black grapes, yes, and grape seeds, yes. Banana, yes. Passion fruit, yes, but remember he's going to pig out on passion fruit. Yeah, he loves uh, it. Even half a chance. He'd eat three or four at a time, yeah. not eat a variety of diet that, he, that we want to get him. We want him to eat a little of a lot. Potato. Cooked. Um, is that cooked, cooked or raw? Cooked, yeah. Cooked potato should be fine. Yep. Provided, again, that you have not given him any of the green part, green potato you know about. Passion fruit, poor poor, yes. Uh, peas, yes. Frozen peas okay too? Um, yes, I think so. Uh, barbecue chicken leg bone, yes. Okay, I was wondering about that because right. he does so, like cooked bones, chicken yeah, and steak. Yeah. I would prefer it to be organic. I would prefer everything to be organic if yep. possible. Okay. Right? But yes, they do eat a bone occasionally. Um, grapes, pear, yes, you can have Mushroom, uh, yes. In yes, I think a little bit of mushroom would be okay. Uh, crunchy combo sprouts, yes. Again, the main thing to watch is mould and things. Mm -hmm. Sesame seeds and sunflower seeds, yes. A little bit of in those. a little, yep. maybe ten sunflower seeds a day. Yep. Not a. Yep. There are plenty of eggies around that are just picking out on sunflower seeds all day, and we wonder why they get sick. Yep. Right. You don't have to wonder for long when you work it out. Um, peanuts and shell, we've spoken about. Um, egg with shell. Um, oh. If it's hard boiled egg with Boy. shell, mashed, something like that, yep. yes, you can have a bit of that. Okay. Right? Yep. So I'm happy for him to have a bit of hard boiled egg with the shell. That's fine. Um, you can have, um, you can have um, scrambled egg as well. But yep. it's a little. This is just a. You know, when I say a little, I'd be giving them a thumbnail piece. Right, okay. Right? Not a lot. Okay. So, um, we've covered those, passion fruit, potatoes, celery, nuts, walnuts, grapes. He can, he can have um, an occasional almond and he can yep. have an occasional um, apricot kernel. Okay. Even, um, even though it's supposedly poisonous. Um, Oops. <laughs> But um, right, anyway, buddy. certainly almonds, and um, I eat apricot kernels, although they're promoted as being poisonous. They're the, one of the richest sources of vitamin B17, one of our major anti-cancer natural products. However, the um, pharmaceutical medical profession have put out the fact that they contain cyanide molecule, and they've put out misinformation so that we don't eat our normal levels of vitamin B17, also known as lateral, so that we're more susceptible to cancer. 
because there's no money to be made out of natural food supplements. I'm mm. sorry, but that's the way it is. Mm. And that's historical. The latrile, the, the cyanide in latrile, in vitamin B17, is activated in cancer cells, specifically in cancer cells, and kills cancer cells. Normal cells are not, do not activate the cyanide molecule. Isn't that strange? So we're being told half truths, and mm. fear has been used okay. to suppress us eating our our grape seeds. Grape seeds are also a source of latrile. Marzipan is a source of latrile. The icing. Apricot kernels <laughs> are a major source of latrile. Anyway, um, we go on here. Um, he occasionally gets a little bit of lamb. That's okay. Roasted chestnuts. Yeah. He's spoiled. <laughs> he is spoiled. Strawberries. Yes, but I'd grow your own because the, okay. the commercial strawberries have some of the highest levels of pesticides on the market okay. of the food that we eat because of the way they're produced. Mm -hmm. So organic strawberries, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're not mouldy. Sugar snap peas, yes. Carrot, yes. Pumpkin seeds, yes. Pumpkin, yes. Lamb, um, mentioned. Sugar snap peas. Puffed oats, yes. Tuna, wow. <laughs> He eats well. <laughs> he, All right. That's uh, my list on the back because sometimes he eats prawns and crabs and lobster and right, I wasn't okay. sure about that. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, if it's suitable for us and if it's in small quantities, yep. yes. Okay. Um, so it's pretty much anything fresh, not, yes. not processed. And, and I'm not so keen on the, on the, the pastas and... Yeah, I read that in a book to give it to them every now and again, and I wanted to check it because well, I thought it was a bit too processed. Highly processed white flour and, yeah. and white rice. You know, if you're going to give him rice, give him brown rice. And just a little bit every now and yes, again. Yeah. Yep. So I don't mind him having one pig like what he's just been with her to take, yeah. but I would not be making that a regular part of okay. his diet. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. I am far, far more concerned about the highly processed foods that you might have been giving him, such as anything that has got artificial colourings, flavourings, preservatives all that sort of stuff, which is what a lot of people make the mistake of eating. You have done extremely well. You're doing very, very well. So thank Good. you. Thank you.